Hello students, welcome to a new video of Sorosers classes. In this video, I will be solving ISI MSQE 2013. Okay, and uh, I will write the question and solve it. You can pause it, you can see it, and any query you can ask me directly from my website. Okay, the descriptions are given below. So let's uh, give the uh, first part. So fx equal to given like this, where x not equal to 1. They have asked you to find f of f of 1 by x. So fairly easy question. So in order to solve this, all you need is a little bit of skills of functions. So in the functioning format, f of 1 by x. Let's find first f of 1 by x. So you replace 1 with 1 minus x and 1 with 1 plus x so this will give you x minus 1 by x plus 1 so f of f of 1 by x so both will be together so 1 minus x minus 1 by x plus 1 and this is 1 plus x minus 1 by x plus 1 all together so if you just calculate this will be x plus 1 minus x plus 1 simply these two are calculated so I'm just not doing it so x plus 1 plus x minus 1 so this will end up as 1 by x. That's the end of the first question. And now I am coming to the second question. You know that ISI will give you some chances where around 30 to 40 percent questions are relatively easy. So now here limiting value, find the limiting value of this. Limiting n tends to infinity, 1 dot 2, 2 dot 3 and dot 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 n into n plus 1 and nq even they wouldn't have written and they can till they say till the n terms then the format is like this so in order to solve this we have a format here so we can write this limiting format as 1 into 2 2 into 3 so this can be rewritten as n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 whole divided by 3 n cube by utilizing the formation of summational format where you just write t1 equal to 1 into 2 t2 equal to 2 into 3 dot 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 tn equal to n into n plus 1 and you just put it on a summational format so that will be the value and it tends to infinity if it is coming so here there is a little bit of step to multiply this is n square plus n and this is n plus 2 by 3 n cube and here I will be doing like n cube this into this plus 2n square so remember that whenever the square is there you need to multiply the numerator and denominator with the highest power of n just keep on doing it 1 by infinity every case will be 0 so we end up with 1 by 3 that's it the second question's answer now coming to the third question remember that you it is better if you have the question paper in front of yourself so it will be easier for you to find it or else I will provide a link later in my description. So they are given in the third question. Suppose a1, a2, a3, dot 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 a are n positive real numbers. So in the question number 3, a1, a2, a n are three positive real numbers where the product of a i i equal to 1 to n is unity. So the minimum value of 1 plus a1, 1 plus a2, dot dot dot, 1 plus a n is what? So in order to find the minimum value of this, whenever you see the minimum value or maximum value, we have to use the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, inequality where a m greater than or equal to g m. So with respect to these terms, so the a m is 1 plus a i by 2 greater than or equal to root over a i. So i equal to 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 n. So multiplying all these uh, important stuff, we can do it like 1 plus a 1 by 2 into 1 plus a 2 by 2, dot, 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 greater than equal to, so this is a i. So in fact, uh, without not writing this portion, we can simply write the entire structure as 1 plus a 1 into 1 plus a 2, dot 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 1 plus a n and that would be greater than or equal to 2 to the power n directly simple as this point of this sense as 1 and the options were given that so the maximum minimum value of this particular structure is 2 to the power n so the option a is correct next is they have a binomial distribution 
so let me see what is happening in the binomial distribution so let x be a random variable which follows a binomial distribution binomial distribution okay with parameters n and p where n is greater than 1 okay parameters n is greater than 1 and is an p is an integer obviously lies between 1 so there is no extreme values of p suppose further that the probability of x equal to 0 is same as probability of x equal to 1 okay so we have to find the value of p so obviously p will be in terms of n over here so p of x equal to 0 of x equal to 1 so binomial format 1 minus p whole to the power n equal to n p 1 minus p whole minus 1 so here in this particular case 1 minus p this power is gone so 1 minus p p will be here equal to n so p simply 1 by n plus 1 according to the given options if you can check so the option b is correct now going for question number 5 in question number 5 let the random variable no this part is done in the question number 5 they have given let x be a random variable such that expectation of x square equal to expectation of x and that is equal to 1 okay so then they have asked us to find e of x to the power 100 now this is a great leap forward so here what we are going to do is we are going to write this e of 100 so either x 100 times or x square 50 times so that will be relatively easier so x square into x square dot 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 x square 50 times and as these are like this so we can say that they are independent so e of x square dot 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 50 times so 50 into 1 so this part will lead us to 50 itself so the answer in this case is 1 basically okay 50 times 1 so 1 dot 1 dot dot this is 50 times so 1 into 50 times it is directly gives you 1 so option a is correct now Proceeding to our next question, number 6. Here, alpha and beta are the two roots of an equation, x square minus ax plus b equal to 0. Okay, so alpha and beta are the two roots. And uh, then the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta, plus alpha beta and alpha beta minus alpha minus beta so they have asked us to find an equation whose roots are like this so how to find this is very easy so let alpha plus beta equal to a and alpha beta equal to b so a plus b uh, comma b minus a are the roots of the equation so we can write x square minus sum of the roots into x into product of the roots that is a plus b into b minus a equal to 0 so finally we can write it as x square minus 2bx plus b square minus a square equal to 0 so this is the final portion now matching up with the options we can see there's an option called this c will match with the option C directly now proceeding to the next question question number 7 in question number 7 they have given f x equal to 2 of x square plus 1 by x square plus 3 x plus 1 by x minus 1 where x is a real number then the solution of f x equal to 0 then the solution of fx equal to 0 they have found in their productive format okay now how to find this so this fx equal to this thing is already given so we can rewrite this part as 2 into x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 3 x plus 1 by x splitting it and this is 1 okay so now this is equal to 0 
So let x plus 1 by x equal to a. So this is 2a square minus 2 minus 3a minus 1 equal to 0. Finally we can write 2a square minus 3a minus 5 equal to 0. So solving we get a equal to 2 negative values minus 1 and minus 5 by 2. So obviously in this case 2x square minus 5x plus 2 actually has these two so just putting it and x equal to half and two we get hence the question was what was the product of these so the answer is one two into one by two one since answer is option a because the sum of the product is one now proceeding to the next question in this question they have given toss a fair coin 43 times Toss a fair coin 43 times. So what is the number of cases? So what is the number of cases where number of heads greater than the number of tails? So number of heads greater than the number of tails. So let's do it. So total number of cases equal to total number of heads greater than total number of tails plus total number of tails greater than total number of heads. So simply equal to this part. Uh, so here we can directly form it as uh, as it is worked 43 times. So this is 2 to the power 43 possibilities and uh, number of heads equal to just the half of it. So this is 2 to the power 42. So all these extra information is relatively irrelevant over here. So the answer is 2 to the power 42 or option C. Now proceeding to the next question, question number 9. That the minimum number of real roots, minimum number of, minimum number of real roots in the equation fx equal to this. where a b c are real okay so now in order to solve this question we can follow the format and we can say that which one is so the minimum number of real uh, rules in this particular format so here fx equal to this and just put it for minus x nothing a will be changing okay so number of positive real root here equal to zero, number of negative real root equal to zero and rest of them are imaginary root. So the basic answer is so minimum number of, so the option is zero, zero and three, positive, negative and imaginary. Okay. Now, next question is question number 10. So let's solve question number 10. This one is a bit long one. f of x, y are x and y are real. This is a function given. x and y are real and differentiable function and satisfying the following properties. There are three properties given which is satisfied by this function f of x plus k comma y equal to f of x comma y plus k y. Second is f of x comma y plus k k x and f of x comma zero equal to m where m is a constant. So f of x of y equal to now how to find it. So f of x comma y. Now they have asked us to find which of them is correct, whether f of x comma y can be written as, I will be writing the four options, as m plus xy, then m plus x plus y, mxy, or none. So here f of x comma y comma m equal to this thing is given. 
So let me take a look at the first one. So this is f of x comma y equal to m where y equal to 0. Now f of x comma y plus k equal to f of x comma y plus k x is a shield function. So this is m plus k x directly right where y equal to 0 and so f of x comma k this part is m plus k x so f of x comma y equal to m plus x y so this is simply m plus x y is a basic format so our option matches with a now proceeding to the next question question number 11 this possibly be the last question because this video is getting longer i'll solve the next in the other videos uh, so this 2 to 343 x mod x this one is square dx so fair enough so a mod x is the largest integer less than or equal to x okay so this thing means this is largest the box function largest integer less than or equal to x then the value of i so what is the value of i this integrated value that we need to find out in this case okay so here we just uh, put the integrated value and the largest possible function so just put the integration over here so this i value and 2 to t43 is a simple integration but the trick let me just tell you the trick of this so has only x the integration of x we know x squared by 2 but the trick lies between this function if this function is integrated so this function also gives an integer function which gives you this format so utilizing this you can solve the problem okay the solution from 11th uh, portions part 2 and that from 12 to 30 will be given in the very next video and if you have any queries you can directly go to my website so sir, classes com. there i will be solving the rest of the question and some of my questions like this uh, 11 number one it will be given as a homework as well okay and uh, remember that 30 questions and you need to get at least 18 to 20 correct in order to be selected uh, in the ISI's entrance examination so although now entire part is now MCQ but still the first 30 are from math stat portion okay that's all for now